Today we're going to be setting up a zine in Adobe InDesign CS6. The first thing I like to do is go to File, Preferences, Units and Increments to change my increments from picas to inches, but you can also change them to millimeters or centimeters, whatever you use in your neck of the woods. Then I'm going to go to File, Document to create my book. and It's going to bring up these presets. I'm going to do 12 pages for this book and you're going to want to check facing pages, which is just going to show it laid out like a book would be in your InDesign window. And then next I'm going to do my orientation, which is already how I like it, portrait mode, uh, but you could also do landscape. And then the default's going to be letter size, which is like a standard piece of printer paper. Um, I like to change it, but you probably won't have to do this if you're just printing on standard letter paper, but you can choose to do so if you want. Just ignore the columns and head down to margins. You're only going to want to use this if you want to do a quiet zone, which isn't really necessary unless you have text, but feel free to choose to do so. I'll explain that in a moment. This little thing I'm circling will make all of your units the same. Um, if you uncheck it, you can do individually, uh, like, unique units, which I'm going to do down here for the bleed and slug. And I'll explain all this in a minute, don't worry. And I'm going to save the preset and let's head on to the zine. So now I'm going to introduce you to bleed and quiet area in the zine creation process. So you're going to see this little pink line in the middle, this little square. This is going to be the quiet zone in your zine. Any vital information, mainly text, you don't want to come out of here because there's a risk of being cut off in the printer process. Um, that black line next to it, that's going to be the actual edge of your paper. That's what's going to be displayed in the final product. Of course, there is a chance of that little extra millimeter being cut off, so that's why we include the quiet area in the middle. And then that red line on the edge there is the bleed. And the bleed is basically anything that's going to get cut off in the printing process. So you're going to want to pull any of your image out to the bleed to avoid um, white lines, basically, when it's cut. As you can see, it goes front cover and then inner front cover on the left here, and then the first page. And you can see in the middle there is where the pages connect. And basically, anything there, you're also going to want to leave vital information out from there so it doesn't get cut off in the binding process. And right here is our back cover. As you can see, the edge of the paper goes out here, and then right here is going to be where the bind is. So you're going to want to keep anything important out from that bind. And so right now, I'm going to show you how you can orient images uh, more exactly so that you can get them symmetrical. You just pull your ruler down here and you can get it down to the exact inch. And this can really create nice, perfect images. I chose Polaroids and poems for this, so that little middle square, the little square in the middle that I chose is going to be for my Polaroids, so they all come out to be the same size in my book. Right here is the master page that we're on. Basically this will apply to the entire book. A master applying to the left pages, and then B master applying to the right. So right now I'm going to show you how to apply the A master. And now you can see after I did that, all the pages on the left, I have applied the grid lines to. So if you only want the lines on the left side, you could just do the A master for the left, and if you only wanted it on the right, you could just do the B master. Thank you. 
Next, I'm going to show you how to place an image. You're just going to do File and then Place and select your image. You just put it right there in that corner so you can pull the blue lines out to your bleed and orient it to your page. And then you're going to select that little round circle in the middle and drag your image wherever you want it. And here it centers itself perfectly. And I'm just going to align it in harmony with my little square in the middle. Lovely. Next, I'm going to place my poem here. And I'll show you a little bit of what I mean about the quiet zone. I'm going to orient it so all of the text stays within that pink square. And I'll show you how I did that. So here's an example of pulling the image out to the bleed lines. All of this stuff in the bleed lines there is going to get cut off in the printing process, but if you don't do this, those edges there will become white lines. With the white background, it doesn't really matter because, you know, they're going to be white anyway. But when you do this, it will make everything come out uniform and lovely. So let me show you something else that's pretty fun. I have it in preview setting right now. Let me show you normal. Back to normal with our grid lines. And then you're just gonna go to this little box in the bottom left corner and you can select preview. And that'll show you pretty close to what it'll look like when you print it. It's pretty fun because you get to visualize how it'll look in the future. Very, very fun. And then you can right click here and switch to high quality display. The default is very pixelated looking, but now you can get an even closer vision of your creation. So next I'm going to show you how to export your file for printing. Just go to File Export and it's going to open up this little box. And you're going to want to select Adobe PDF Print instead of Interactive and save it to whatever folder you want to save it to. And click Save and it's going to bring up this other box for you. So this part's easy. You're just going to want to go to Marks and Bleeds. and select all printers marks, and then only select crop marks and bleed marks. And then you're also gonna wanna select use document bleed settings, and this is gonna set it up nicely for your printer. Then you click export. And your PDF should look something like this. Thank you all so much for watching today. Please leave me a like and subscribe if this helped you at all. And good luck with your beautiful creations. Bye!